Greetings, gamer girls. I am Cell C, and also known as Cool Clux. And then, and welcome back more. What? Welcome back more. Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we took down the man at legs at this end of the subterranean complex. And in this episode, I am going to be searching for a specific kind of enemy. I'm going to have Louie take the purples, and I'm going to t have Olimar take everyone else. Now, now I actually had an outtake, outtake, um, of this, of this, and, uh, yeah, that enemy really got in the way, but, because it ran right into our dismissed squad of, of Pikmin. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. This is a doodle bug. The, the doodle bug is basically, um, oh. The purple drop you see you see contains the refined ultra bitter essence. One drop contains one dose. Use it on hostile creatures. Approach the creatures and press up the spray. I'm not gonna worry about this. I'm gonna worry about the Pikmin that are currently dying of poison. Okay, we got them all. Now we have some uh, bitter spray right here. I'm gonna wait before I pick it up because there's two doodle bugs in uh, in here. Basically, the doodle bug is an iridescent flint beetle that farts poison. Yeah, it farts poison. Like, there's the other one. There's the other one. Okay, where is it? Where's it going? Emergency! Pikmin are suffering. If you blow your whistle with B, you may be able to help them. Yes, if they, your Pikmin catch poison, you can save them with your whistle. Okay. Thank goodness we got rid of the got rid of the doodle bugs because seriously, they things really got hectic and hectic and um and um things really got What are these guys doing over here? Things really got hectic um in the outtake I have this. So yeah, we got a ton of nectar. Uh I just wanted to mention that it's important to mention that um uh, it's probably important to mention that the nectar can only, you can only have a maximum of 20 drops of nectar, um, on the screen at the same time. So I'm gonna grow everybody I can the flowers. And now we're gonna pick up the sprays. We got four of these, which is awesome. I knew we were gonna, I knew we were going to get, um... I knew we were going to get uh, bitter sprays in here, which is why I'm so we're so we can uh, so it will uh, make our lives against that fiery bulblax on the surface a lot easier. Let's get rid of this hairy bulbor, or at least it'll make my life easier. I don't know if it will make your life easier, but but it'll make, certainly make mine. We have a buried treasure over here, but it does make our lives easier because we're in this together. You know, we're you know we're all doing this together. Right. And despite the really badass name that, th that this, uh, that this, um, dungeon has, you might think it has badass treasures, but no. The theme of this dungeon is Christmas-themed, which I like. Whoa! Oh, that's why! In the outtake, that like, I had, um, I had, uh, actually lost a ton of Pikmin, like, seven Pikmin, and I was wondering what it was. Apparently a bomb rock was there. Essential furnishing. Okay. Uh, now while we're doing this, I was actually reminded that I should probably go into detail on something. I think I think that might not have been too clear. I mentioned in one of ep one episode that dungeons are randomly generated. Basically, what I mean by that is that there was there was a hairy bulb orb right there and there, and we spawned over here, and the treasure was over there. The dungeons are semi randomly generated. For example, uh. The treasure could have been here. The bulwark could have been here. We could have started all the way over there. So, you know, dungeons are randomly generated, so if you got a different different uh, layout um, playing at home alongside me, that's why.
Well, if there's a third doodle bug. Okay, we need to get everyone out of here, stat. Okay, take the purples and just. Okay, we might miss this. We might miss this one. I did not know there were three doodle bugs in here. I thought there were only two. And it seems like we missed the potions. Oh well. We got four of them. We don't have to worry too much. Six would have been nice, but we got four. Uh, I believe the treasure is buried around here somewhere. Um, I think it's over there, actually. Essence of Rage. Sounds like sounds like me during Sounds like me dur during Metroid. I don't know. Let's just go. Jeez, plants. I don't think those plants have a Piclopedia entry. Oh wait, yeah, I think they do. Oh, whoa. Uh, random jump room. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Okay. Okay. Pick this up. I'm going to take the purples and have Olimar take everyone else. I'm going to try to get these with the purples. Okay, what else is over there? Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the uh, boulders to, to my advantage. Okay. Yeah, sometimes they'll do it. Yeah, the damage it does, does kind of varies. You know, I don't know why, but something I don't like about the Pikmin is that when you're holding them, they go like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't know why they do that, but they only do they only do that once in the first game. Yeah, you could definitely see the no, see the uh it, it taking more damage once the hair was gone. Got a boot. Icon of progress. Sand boot is the is the icon of progress. Treasure's up there. We could go around, but I'm just gonna, just gonna throw my yellows to it. Whoa. What are the Pikmin doing down there? <laughs> okay. Treasure. 
Joy Receptacle. I wonder what's in that preser or present. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it's a copy of. Hmm, let's see. I wonder if it's a copy of a uh, Virtual Boy Wario Land, because, and it could be that because game because Olimar is the size of a GameCube memory card. That's the way they described him. He does look smaller, but I, but he's sp he's supposedly the size of a GameCube memory card. floor. I'm gonna get all my Pikmin. I'm gonna have my purples out front. I'm just looking around a bit. Is this... Oh, yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay, guys. Wait for it to come closer. Or, actually. Well, I'm gonna get re gonna uh, encounter this first. This is a Bulbman. A Bulbman is a Bulbar that doesn't sleep. And it has a Pikmin sprout on its back. We'll get into it later, but it's really important. For now, I think this is more important. Spotty Bull Bear! <clears throat> As I was saying... Spotty Bull Bear! Okay. So, we had it to be the Spotty Bull Bear because it contained a treasure. But also, just like the Gatling Groink. You remember the... Remember the you remember, remember these guys being really tough in the first game, but in this game, they don't sleep. And just like the Gatling Groink, they come back to life. So you want to make sure you carry this back. Because that goes up a lot faster than it looks. Danger Charm. Alright. Oh. I thought those were Anoid Beetles, but those are Dwarf Bull Bears. Which, unlike the, um... Which, unlike the, uh, Dwarf Bull Borbs that are bre actually bread bugs, um, the Dwarf Bull Bear is actually a... Actually are relatives... Are actually are actually are young bull orbs are young bull bears. Jeez, I cannot talk. But young or not, we're still gonna take him out. It's for trying to eat my little picks, my little picks, and we're missing one. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. It's kind of funny as in the first game they had their own uh, unique snipping animation. Here they do here they're more or less just clones of uh, the dwarf bull orbs. Alright. Here's a treasure. Got some Electra that will pass through here with her instant kill, so we gotta be careful. Uh, also, if this cutscene triggers and you're holding a Pikmin, you'll just automatically let go of it. Leading art form. We have an ivory candy pop, bud. Uh, we have more reds than anything else, so I guess I'll throw our reds in here.
Uh, actually, treasure's right here. Oh, egg trap. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't see that there. Good thing I did. We're going to have Louie, as usual, run to the exit. Oh, there's an egg over there I didn't even see. Gemstar Husband. Okay. You know, it kind of reminds me of some anime I heard about where, our, um, where I, I think this guy's girlfriend was like his hand. Yeah, leave it to Japan. And just nectar, okay. Is that we're gonna turn to buds? Ah, there's the exit. Here we go. Here's something you don't see every day. Bud White Pikmin. Look at that icon down there. Okay, so level four. Oh, swooping snitch bug right off the bat. Uh, I'm gonna have our yellows take it out because it's right next to some anoid beetles. Hey! Put them down! You, put them down! Wow, they're having like a, <laughs> having a carnival on his back. Okay. Oh, uh, bumbling, bumbling snitch bug. Okay. I gotta get the bumbling snitch bug first because the bumbling snitch bug can do more knife. Hey, you can usually shake. You can usually shake the control stick. Control stick to uh, get him off you. Hey. Okay. Get rid of this one. Come on. All right. Alright, that annoyed be also all alone, so I'm just gonna leave it be. Uh, I don't think we need to kill any of these. Since they're kind of spread, based apart from each other. Actually, yeah. I should probably get, yeah, I probably should get rid of them. 
strange. I, I seem to remember them being able to get the electrical currents through the wall. I guess they could. sound they make so okay where's the treasure oh wait we just passed the treasure I don't know if this is the only treasure here. And sure, we can have our yellow stick connector. We have a violet candy pop over there, so um, I'm going to do that. Uh, something I probably, something I kind of forgot to mention at the beginning of this bit uh, of this dungeon is that if you have more than 20 purples, I don't, I think one of the uh, candy pop buds, the violet candy pop buds, will not appear. So. It's a good idea to come in here with less than 20 purples, but do the way I did things, eh, it didn't really work out that way. Like I was, I was just jumping around and hitting it. I don't really think we need to kill these anoid beetles, so I'll just leave them be. Where's the treasure? Oh, there it is. doing they're like all trying to grab onto it innocence lost no you want to know what an innocence lost treasure would be a clip on santa beard yeah okay that still was not all the treasures so we're gonna go run around and see if we can find it where is it Is it over? Yeah, it's over here. Oh yeah, there's a pearl. Okay, wait, get away, get away, get away. Okay.
Okay. On um ominous ominous spear. Marvel treasures. I don't remember where the floor exit is. Oh, there it is. Here's another thing you don't see every day. Purple buds. Okay, let's go. But now that but now that we uh oh we uh did that, I think we're gonna end this off here. So, uh, next time on Pikmin 2, we are going to head down the back, head further down the Frontier Cavern. I will see you guys next time, and as always, remember to smile, you were the face of Clone Clocks, and then I gave you. Goodbye.